Yo, what's good, y'all? What is good? What is good? What is good? None, none, ain't Yo, nothing but a chicken wing. Ain't nothing chicken but a chicken wing, wing on the string. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I hey, am hey. in a lovely mood tonight. Which, how you feeling, Mr. White Bread? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know. Y'all, it's the Sig and Yak Show, man. I am your boy, DJ White Bread, and this is my girl, Shay. How you doing? I'm just lovely, and I'm going to need to keep it up. How your day been so far? You know what I'm saying? How's it been? It's been all right. It's been okay? Just okay? Okay. okay. Just okay? Yeah. All right. So, y'all, man, you know, today's been one of them kind of days for me. You know what I'm saying? I just really I'm feeling like blah, blah, blah. blah. You know what I'm saying? Been been sitting there all week listening to that. Um, been listening to the trial of the the officer that had his knee on George yes. Floyd's neck. Man, just I mean, I just been sitting there listening to it like, dude, do you you actually know that you you killed this dude? Right. You killed. No. And I was listening. Shay, oh man, have you been listening to it? No, I I don't have that luxury. Man. I mean, it's called the AirPod and year while you're at work. Anyway, uh, but anyway, <laughs> <at> my job <laughs> that ain't, yeah. But anyway, uh, I was sitting there listening to it, and man, the dude was like, they got other camera angles, like it was a security camera across the street that saw everything. Oh, for real? Everything. So what did that from camera them get? snatching him back out the car to them? To all of them, you know, he was tussling with him at first, you know what I'm saying, for real. But I thought, this is just me, this is just white bread. Uh huh. I thought after the police see that you stop fighting, don't they level of force supposed to ease up a little bit? You would think, but I'm if not. If I got in some law officers out there, so it, I don't know how that, what they're trained to do. Yeah, anyway. if we got some officers out there, man. Y'all let us know. Is it that when the level of force or threat or the level of the threat? Yeah, that's a good word. The the threat level has decreased. Are y'all supposed to decrease your level of force? Is that what's supposed to happen? I don't know. That's a good question. All y'all popos out there. You know, a lot of folks don't like y'all because y'all act funny. Do funny things. I ain't got no problem Some. with you. I ain't got no problem with you. I don't. I don't have a problem with you. But some folks don't like you. They don't. They really don't. So we want to know. In inquiring minds would like to know. What is the protocol? The things that make you go. Hmm. hmm. That's that old Arsenio Hall. <laughs> so you Arsenio now? No, I'm not Arsenio. Hell okay. no, I'm not Arsenio. I need some of that Arsenio money, but I don't want to be Arsenio. Mm, mm. Well, you're you going to put on a dress. The fuck? Um, didn't he just a black woman? He did. Yeah. Hold up. Hold he up. Did. Hold up. Pause. In a movie, he dressed up like a woman. Man, see, you got my eye itching. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why all these men got to dress up like women to 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 make this, this these movies and stuff? You got. They are you pushing got, the got envelope. Got They're doing Hall. what some will not do. What what most will not do. You got Martin. Mm -hmm. Wesley Snipes. Everybody, everybody don't. They, they forget Martin did it because he was Shanae for so Nobody many years. Nobody forget that. You know what I'm saying? They don't say nothing about it because he tells us, how you doing? Mm -hmm. He was Shanae Jamie Foxx was Wanda. Mm -hmm. Y'all forget about all that. Then you got, what was the man that ain't played basketball? Larry Johnson. He mm -hmm. did a whole set of commercials. Grandmama. Mm -hmm. Grandmama ain't nothing but my dear. For mm -hmm. real. Let's, let's be real. Tyler Perry. Yo, Big Bro Tyler, I'm still here, man. I, you know, I still, I, I still play. You know, I audition for you. You know, call me. Anyway, and I'm a, I, I, hey, I've been working on my vocals. <clears throat> I won't sing, but I, I, I do background for you. What? <laughs> I'm just, uh, nothing, nothing at all, Mr. White Red, as you were. Am I, so, I'm, am as I, you were, am, sir. Am I not supposed to, to boost? Myself? Why are you sitting there trying to stifle that yawn? Yes. Am I not supposed to boost myself? Hmm. You trying to play that out. You, you, you got to try to call me out, huh? 
<laughs> you ain't nothing but a so, hound dog. <laughs> all right, so all right, so you listen up, so y'all. Sick, listen man. up, cause he you over here sick. just dragging today. I'm not, I'm not dragging. He dragging. I'm not dragging. He been blah I've been, blah I've been blah trying, blah. I've been trying so, not to cry all day. Not oh because of the, well we liven it up because just that is very sad. It's very depressing. But I'm not I'm not in that mood. You in that mood? I'm not in that mood. So I don't Maybe want you I'm, to pull my level on dance. We're gonna pull I'm, your level up. Made me want to slap somebody today. I can see that. It did. But we need to pull your level on up. I'm talking about if I had a level slap. Up, them, level up. Level up. If I have, if I had a slap them, I swear, my right hand to God, I would have slapped them so hard. Anyway, I got a lot of questions though. All right, so I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all don't look at the label on here because they are not a sponsor. They are not a sponsor. Let me see if I can cover the label all the way up. Gonna drink this like one of the little kids. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. So y'all, this was this was what? All right. So I don't have any celebrity tonight because I I'm not in news. a celebrity type of mood. I'm in an odd news type of mood, and there's always some odd news to go ahead and brighten up your day. I got some sad news. Well, it's not sad. It's it's pitiful. But I'll do it after your. Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. go ahead and do yours first. No, you go. Go, go ahead. Ladies first. Cause the I'm gonna try to pull us up. We gonna pull us back down. No, I'm. A, this is gonna pull me up because I, 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 I got a cuff. But go ahead. Let's let's do yours. Oh my goodness, y'all! Cause, Cause I'm white bread is trying to throw off the whole mood. Oh, this is not gonna throw off the mood. So, first up, we have. A mafia fugitive was on the run for the past seven years on drug trafficking charges. <laughs> he and he a- gets caught. But guess how he got caught, y'all? Get caught up. Now, he got arrested in Santo Domingo. And San- Santo, Santo who? Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. And this happened just one day ago, y'all. Just a few days ago, really. Uh, and so, basically, what happened is... He decides after seven years, you know what? I just love the Italian cuisine so much. I want to go ahead and do a YouTube channel with my wife. Time out. Do you have to do that fake ass accent? I was just, the, the article just brought it out of me. Just, just. See, if you're going to do the accent, do you got to do it right. Oh. <laughs> you got to do it right. So he goes ahead, he has his love of Italian cuisine. And he decides to go and do a cooking channel with his wife. Oh, that's good. Okay, So, that's you good. know, he was thinking a little bit, just a little bit. Because in the cooking channel, you never see his face. So when he reviews the, fu- the food, mm-hmm. you never see his face. However, okay, let me pause for a minute. So anybody out there that is considering to do some type of crime, do not get tattoos. It's too late. All of them got tattoos. I'm trying to get them before they get into that life. The ones who are already so in the life, you, it's too late. So why but won't for you those, just say don't get into that so life? So look here, because you know what? Sometimes you just can't stop them. But look. You know what? Look. Did she, did she just did she show me? Look. Did if did, did that she, is the, 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 the road that you think you're going to take, don't get tattoos. Don't get piercings. You need to be the <laughs> cleanest, handsomest boy next door looking dude around. Because then you can blend <laughs> in. But if you decide to go on a cooking channel with your wife on YouTube and your tattoos are explode, exposed, exposed, you're going to get caught. Just like this guy right here. So, yes, white bread. Did you just... I did just... Because I was telling people about Mark Ferenclaw Biot. The what the hell? Mark Ferenclaw Biot. Alright, that Mark. (laughs) That's Mark. Who just got caught? I don't know about know who the hell. That's that's Mark. On the lamb. Yes, sir. Seven years on the lamb? Seven years on the lamb. So he he been eating lamb for seven years. No, he was at the Mary had a little lamb. I don't like the way you hunch in the chair yeah, while you talking about Mary had a little lamb. That Mary went everywhere. That Mary went to go. Shay is on that shit today. So shit today. I, 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 shit I'm, today. I'm she snorted that shit and it's okay because she is all right. I don't do drugs, y'all. Just no. say no. But if I did, I would, I would call it Mark. 
Fearing Club Bjork. So, that's the first one we Just got tonight. Damn. That's the first one. Okay, so that's that's Mark, right? Mafia fugitive. Couldn't resist <laughs> his love of Italian cuisine, and he had to share it with the world. And, and they his saw book his tattoo. got caught. Yo. Did they kill him? No, no, they didn't kill him. So he was just on the run. He was on the run. So he was, he was mafia, but he was on the run. Yeah. He wasn't hiding he was from the mafia. Okay, so he wasn't hiding from the mafia. No, he was hiding from the law. So, oh, okay. Oh, well, shit, you stupid. That's just like these fuckers get on Facebook and sit up there and be flashing all the shit that they doing. Yup. So that was all the way in Santo Domingo. So we go from one lovely beach area to another lovely beach area down there in Florida. <laughs> I'm a lovely beach. <laughs> so stupid i'm a sexy bitch. so now we're gonna go all the way down to florida where florida. a woman the florida a, a woman she decides that she's going to go and sw- take a little swim in the canal you mm-hmm. know near her boyfriend's home oh, okay she, she, to, she, she you know thang thang. she she loves to feel you she, imagine you get in the water she's trying to swim that thing thing you so special <laughs> so you get in the water thang and thang you're feeling like fish water. that <laughs> I ain't took my medicine today, y'all. I'm sorry. I, think I asked gonna, for this. I think they gonna smell like fish water. I asked for that. <laughs> like old rusty fish tank water. <laughs> she smell like fish rocks. <laughs> yep, y'all. I said I wanted to bring his levels up, and see, so only took one story, <laughs> and he's he's back. She smell like gold fish rocks. <laughs> one story. Goldfish Duke ass good. <laughs> So, this lady decides to go for a swim in the canal near her boyfriend's home. And then while she's down there swimming, you know, she's got, you know, she's kind of curious. She's got her Dora Explorer thing going on right now. And she sees a tunnel. She's like, ooh, what's in that tunnel? And so she goes to swim down that tunnel. And then she's like, ooh, there's another tunnel. You know, she got the whole Dory thing going on at this Time point. Out. Time out. What? Black, white, or other. Wait to the end. Look, you got so, to tell me. See, so she had to. Look, I already know. Look, she had the door explore thing going on because she saw the tunnel. Let's go explore. Okay. It was dark in the tunnel. Was it dark in the tunnel? Answer that. It was a tunnel. Underwater. Yes. What you, so you no, know they it have was dark. floodlights. So you. Literally fl- get floodlights in the tunnel, in the water. So, like I said, <laughs> it was dark underwater. And you going through this tunnel that eliminates one of the uh, people that I said in the black, white, or other. All, okay. That's all I'm saying. That eliminated one of them. Okay. C- can I continue? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, that, have mercy. That's your second time picking pe- 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 in me. Goodness. So, look here. She's going, doing the door explore thing. And she sees another tunnel. All right? And she's like, oh, let me go down there. Now she's got her old Dory thing from, you know, Nemo going on because she's going down there keep on swimming just she keep went swimming. from door keep, to just Nemo. keep swimming just keep swimming Why she and be then she mermaid? got stuck she got lost she got turned about she could not find her way out and guess how long she was down up in them tunnels about three weeks three weeks three weeks well, they thought this was dead. in those tunnels her her boyfriend had reported her missing the day that she went in so went swimming how in the hell but she was she got turned around and got lost she couldn't get find a way out yeah, well, hold on. You in a tunnel for three weeks. Three weeks. Swimming. Three weeks. And then it so happens a passerby, I guess she, you know, had a little bit of energy, like, help, help. And then somebody heard her. So they was able to get five men out there, and they put a ladder on down in the, in the little, little drain so, pipe. So wait, wait, thing. hold up. So she went from the tunnel out there in the canal, swimming, all that stuff, mm-hmm. to to underground in the sewer. That's what it's, I, I, it looks that way. Yeah, it looks that way because when they pulled her out, she's like in a residential type area at this point. But is she, but check this out, she was so, naked the whole so, time she was so, down there too. Oh, so she was. Oh, she, she really was trying to get up on that fish water. She was naked finna swim to him. She was trying to find a, 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 a dog spot so they can they can do the thing thing with the thing thing. My goodness. And they and he so, could put some of that some of that seaweed in. Friends, more of the story is. Don't go swimming alone, and don't go swimming in can- canals without proper gear or or, 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 or some type of idea as to where the heck you going. 
that ain't my moral of the story. <laughs> that ain't my moral of the story, y'all. My moral of the story is don't take your crazy ass down no dark ass ton of butt ass naked. Thank you, you finna go get your song. Nigga, do do like the normal folks. Go find you a bed, a car, a here, a, a blanket in the woods. Some d, d, yeah, sh, some hell. Do it go in the swimming pool. You know you did in the swimming pool. Stop playing. So you go do that. Don't be swimming in no damn tunnel. I'm just trying to figure out how you got from her just randomly swimming to going to get some. You said at the beginning of the story. She was headed to her boyfriend's house. No, I said who she the was hell is her at, in a canal near her boyfriend's who house. Who the hell is who, who? Who the hell was this dude dating? Is she a Little Mermaid or something? Maybe she liked the water. That damn uh, uh, fish called Wanda. The hell? Maybe so. So now but, you got to answer my question: Black, white, or other? I already eliminated one. It okay. wasn't. A, it wouldn't. It it wasn't the other. So Florida. Naked canal. Oh Lord, she might have been the other. Was she? Uh, was she escaped? Honestly, I don't know. Was she based off to... the picture? She like she might. She could. She could have been white or other. But definitely but black. She was not black. So I win. Ding ding so, ding. We so. win. We win. But you know what? It would have been nice if somebody else was, you know, paying a little more attention. Maybe in law school or something or whatnot. Because we went from Santo Domingo to Florida. Now we're going to go all the way to lovely South Carolina where this lawyer, and I guess, you know, because he was an attorney, he thought, you know, you know what, I can, I can regulate. It don't matter where I go. And, you know, my, 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 my bitch right here want to you know, pop bitch? off at the mouth and whatnot. Did you just call me a bitch? No, white bread. Because I was finna say, I, I was finna set it off up in this motherfucker. So, so he walk oh, up in there, and I guess he had that mentality like, you know, no argue. My, my bitch right here better not pop off say, at the say, mouth. Say it one more time. I just bought this so, bottle, but I swear for loud, I will cluck your ass in. Whatever, <laughs> shut I up. Will, ooh, so, you, you see this? So he walks into... The ball, a bone alley. They're arguing, right? And so he allegedly proceeds to strangle the woman and pull her hair. Well, uh, that's full play. He was choking her and pulling her hair. You know how many girls like that shit? So, <laughs> look, why you start blushing? You must be one of them I damn know. nasty. So, a passerby, a female passerby, Solves that and she runs to the woman's aid. Wait, she and did what? She runs to the woman's no, aid. Before that, a passersby. There's another word you said. Female. Another one. What? Solves that. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Look here. So a female passersby solves that. Saw the incident, and she runs to the woman's aid and clucks this attorney in the eye. That picture don't look like he just got clucked. Cold. That picture looked like he got fucked in that eye. She fucked him up. He remained on the floor till police officers came and arrested his behind. Who the hell was this woman? Big Bernice from Southeast Toe? Hey, she knocked big, ooh, him she, to lean out. Does she play football or something? She, 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 ooh, shit, she beat his ass. His ass looked like, look, ooh, looked like his eyeball just popped out and said, damn. Mm -mm. This motherfucker fucked me up. So that is what we have for you tonight for the odd news. Okay, you got odd news, but can I do my story now that I have? Sure. All right, y'all. So, in Please news. Please do. Oh, you going to interrupt me? Tell us all about it. All right, so. I know how to ignore ignorance. So, y'all. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm going to stop before she hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please do. Hey, y'all that's looking, man. Y'all <laughs> see, she's looking at me like she want to just hit me, but that's okay. Because if she hit me, I swear I'm stepping on her pinky toe Ain't and no I'm pressing Ain't no females over here to come and pluck me in the eye when I choke you. <laughs> yeah. 
you, you, you gonna choke me? I'm, I'm gonna choke you like the lawyer then did. You gonna choke me? I'm gonna choke you. You gonna pull my hair too? I have to pull your beard. You ain't got no Shit, hair. Shit, you choke me and pull my beard. Shit, it's just like a just like a drawstring. You pull that thing, something else pop. I, oh I'm just my gosh! You. Woo! Go, please, please proceed with your story. Woo! All right, so since she done got me started, <clears throat> hey y'all. I know y'all been following this this news about uh, these these new shoes that's that, that's dropping. Little what Nas new shoes? X. Huh? What new shoes? These these uh Nike look like Air Max that Lil Nas X is supposed to be designing with somebody, and they are rumored to have a drop of human blood in each shoe. Okay, so. And, and and okay wait was was the blood tested i'm, I'm not finna test it is it is it free of stds i don't know but i don't care and, and diseases look, okay hold up no i don't know but listen first of all they got the you know the the devil worshiping symbol you know what it look like y'all uh -huh. know what it look like uh -huh. it's on the shoe these are like the it, and it was only 665 plus one pair made. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. They, they retail them for around $1,000. So who going to buy these? I guess some, some of them devil worshipers. Interesting. But you know what? Without that, that symbol on there, and and them telling me that it had the drop of human blood. The shoes look good. They were red and black. You know, I kind of I I like Air Max. So you know that's what kind of I was like, dang man, they fine. And then they that they, they turned on around. I was like, yeah, they fine. Not for me. What? That's just my opinion. Lil Nas X, man. I mean, folks that dealt with you when you 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 know. You you gave your whole life story saying that you 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 didn't have nothing. You were sleeping on your sister couch. You made the song, okay. And now you now you make got a little money. You came out as gay. Everybody accepted you. Now you sitting up here, you telling everybody that you worshiping the devil. Dude, how many more times you gonna push this envelope to see if people still accept you? Real talk. You keep going and going and going. It's your right to do whatever you want to do, but jeez Louise, dude. Yeah, you may lose some people off of this one. Man, I mean, you you pushing the envelope, guy. I ain't gonna lie. I like the song Old Town Road. I like the song Punani or whatever the, the thing is, name of it is. I said Punani. Yes, you did. Whatever it is. Y'all know the song I'm talking about, but... I just got Poonani on the brain. But, um, Always. Shut up. But, um, dude, you're pushing the envelope, man. You, you, you're doing too much. You're doing too much, sir. I don't know what to say about you. You're doing too much. Well. He doing too much. That shit right there? Mm -hmm. That shit is sad. Like, it's for real, for real sad. And that shit truly makes me feel like I be wanting to cry. Cry. It it do make me feel like I want to cry, cause when he doing that shit right there, it's just you just don't know what to what to expect next from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That brings up us, us up to our topic of the evening. Real men, we do cry. Oh. Just because you see a real man shed a tear, that does not mean he is weak. So elaborate, Mr. Whitebread. All right. So for so long growing up, they tell, they used to tell boys, young men, man, you better not goddamn cry. You cry, I'm going to beat your ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that ain't going to do nothing but make me cry more. That's first. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm seven years old. You better not cry. I'm going to beat your ass. Okay, I'm seven. I'm already crying. Mm -hmm. Suck it up. <laughs> as soon as they turn their face, you crying. You crying even harder. 
You see what I'm saying? Cause you sitting up there and they they tell you suck it up, cry. You ain't supposed to cry. Men are emotionally detached from life. A mm. lot of them are. Ooh, that's real. But you think that's only because of instances like that, or do you think no. it's a combination of society? You can't cry. It makes you weak. It makes you appear weak. Because you see, as a man, we would see a lot of females. Well, I didn't. I didn't got over that shit. But as a man, you would see a lot of females, and when they would get upset or frustrated, they would shed shed tears. And at and and who would be there to come and and comfort her and and, and be that strong one to say it's gonna be all right? A man, right? Oh, supposedly. I ain't never had them experiences. Well, you even had the wrong one. Yeah. So it's supposed to be, you know, a man, a father figure, a man. Okay, well, let's go back. I said father figure. Let's break it down to to family structure. All right. Old school family structure. You had mama in the, it, it, taking care of the house. I often say in the kitchen, but I don't want to cuss no get cussed out. You had, <laughs> yeah. you had mama taking care of the house. Okay. You had dad out there struggling, dealing with the the, the bullshit in the in the streets, taking care of the, the the bills and 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 everything else. Okay. Right. Okay. What 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 year is this? The, this is back in the day. Okay. This is back in the day. I had to check. This is back in the day. You had mama. You know, doing all that. And what was the saying when you get in trouble at school or anything? Just wait till your father gets home. Yeah. Wait till your dad to get here. Okay. That's what you would see and that's what you would hear, right? Okay. So you were scared of your dad. Because you knew your dad wasn't, he ain't play. Mm hmm And if you saw your dad and shed a tear, you're going to be like, oh, I got him. He weak. Right. I don't know. I'm I'm follow, I'm following you, uh, White. So, I had I don't I have don't have those type of experiences. I'm just listening to your story. Everybody can have the 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 loving parents and sensitive father that you grew up with, Shay. I didn't say all that because your daddy is the one that's on Facebook right now making all the little oh. mushy ass <laughs> posts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just been my. My baby, my heart, my love, my darling, my sugar, my bone, my bone. Oh, well, you know, I can't, I can't fault him for that. He is, you know, professing his love for his he, wife, hey, my mom, hey, all the hey, time. He, he's sitting there, he's like, my baby, my heart, my sugar, my honey, my bone, my bone. So bone. I, I can't, yeah. I can't fault him for that. I'm like, I mean, 40 what? Little, like, he, his four, post said 44. Well, they've been together 44, been married about almost 42 years. So, so. I can't have. They've been together 44 years. Yeah. Mm. And how old are you? I'm 41. Oh, okay. You you made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> I, I came after that. I know where you were going. <laughs> Woo. I mean, I'm just trying to say. But, you know, let's go back to these men crying, right? Mm hmm. If you see a man cry, tears have been portrayed over the years. As weakness. Yeah. So, with that being said, we got to get past the, 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 we got to get past that because that ain't weak. You know what I'm so saying? So, what would be your recommendation? Okay, because I know for me, for example, as a single mom, I was ra as raising a son and whatnot, I, I guess for me as, as well, it was, I, I, honestly, I can't say that I've ever, I can recall saying, making comments of, you know, like, it's just suck it up or whatever. Unless it was one of those instances where, you know, sometimes you have little toddlers and whatnot and they fall down and they, you know, do that fake cry just to get a reaction out of you. You know, even like, man, suck, suck it up and, and come on, get, get up or whatever. So I, I've done that. I will say that. But I think the one time that I have the most I've ever really stuck to that whole men don't cry thing is when we start playing football. Now that, yeah, I, I did it a, a lot or whatnot. Because when we first started with uh, Little League football or whatnot, I would tell them, I said, there's no crying in football. Because in football, and anyway, yeah, it does appear like, like you're weak and whatnot. And then he's more likely to get picked on by the other, bo the other boys on the team. Yeah, they're going to call him a little S-word that you don't like. 
Yeah. That I say a lot. Yeah. So I know if, when he was playing football, I always said that. I always drew that in his head. There's no crying in football. I got you. I got you. You know, because when they first start learning how to take hits and stuff, oh, they be wanting to cry. Yeah, they definitely want to cry because it, shit, it is what it is. I want to so, cry. So during those, you know, going through that or whatnot, because he would be the one trying to like, you know, what they say, like breaking ankles and stuff to get to avoid getting hit and whatnot. So he'd be trying to go make maneuver around players and whatnot so he wouldn't get hit. You know what? And then they had to learn to just take it. And he a big dude. He, like, he's solid. <laughs> so him trying to do that, you know what they're going to call him. What? Oh, sweet ass. It's work. That, uh, oh, so that's cry when he was baby. Younger. What are you talking about, Let him about, try dude? to do it now. I'm going to go out there and oh tackle this Oh, my gosh. Ass. I said that's when he first started. You know, but were you that, were you that mama that that when he get tackled and, and 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 fall out on the field, you go down to the fence, stomach, that my baby. No. You wasn't that mom. No. Mm. There is only, I can count on one hand. There was one time I wanted to go down there, and somebody stopped me, and then the second time I actually did, but that's because he wasn't getting back up, and so I went down there to go check on him, and then once I got down there, he, they were starting to get him up. Cause he got the snot knocked out of him that day, so I was just watching in the stands, and I'm just looking, I'm just watching, I'm waiting for him to get up, and I'm just watching, and I'm just watching, and he's still not moving. And my, then my baby was like, "Mom, he's not getting up. Mom, he's not getting up." I was like, "I see that baby. I see, I see that." So I'm just watching. He still won't get up. So then I started making my way on down there, and by the time I got down, he was starting to get up, and I'm like, "Okay." So he ended, he ended up being all right, but yeah, he got hit pretty good that day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all to teach me. Keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> so, so, but I was I was holding my composure that day. I was just watching, and I'm like, I'm holding the bleachers because I'm watching because I'm like, baby, get up, get up, baby. Yeah. So I can remember my son getting getting the getting the hell knocked out of him, and he slid damn near five yards. Oh jeez. But when he did that, he sat there and and you heard him when he got hit because he hollered. Mm. Mind you, I was I was one of the coaches. I'm on the sideline, mm -hmm. so I, I'm hearing it. Mm -hmm. And when he did it, I started walking down there slow, mm -hmm. like, okay, not just because that's my son, but because I am one of the coaches and I'm closest to where the incident take, is taking place. Mm -hmm. So I get down there, and when I get down there, he he just blinking like, like. Just days. Yeah, he was days. So I'm like, damn, he got a concussion. So, you know, I'm sitting there, I start going through the little concussion stuff. And he, he looked at me, he said, I'm okay. You okay? He said, I'm okay. I ain't cry. <laughs> I said, but are you okay for real? I'm okay. I didn't cry. But that was drilling his head. No, I, uh-uh. I said, I'm okay. I ain't cry. It didn't hurt. I said, it didn't hurt. Mm -mm, it didn't hurt. I got on my pads. <laughs> <laughs> it surprised him. He said, it didn't hurt. I got on my pads. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, so what you want to do? I said, come on out the game. Go get you something to drink. Get you some Gatorade. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay. So I got, you know, gave him a little Gatorade. He got up and he was, he sat there and he walked to the side. Uh, his mama was sitting over there at the gate and she was looking. And I looked at her and I was like, he said he all right. She was like, my baby ain't playing no more goddamn football. I was like, he said he okay. He don't know. But no. I said, but I, and I looked, and I, I watched him for a few minutes. And he sat there, and he did cry. He did cry. And you know why he cried? Because I told him, hey, I'm going to have to sit you out the rest of the game. That's when he cried. Mm -hmm. So it's okay for me to cry. Yeah. I, I mean, I, was, I agree. It is okay for men to cry. I, I agree. I agree. But I, I do think, of course, being men, the spotlight is on you and whatnot. I think as they get older, um, they need someone to guide them to know. I, I don't know if I can say when it's acceptable to cry. Yeah, you not. can't just cry for anything. So They can't be talking about you when you start crying. That's yeah, weak. Yeah, yeah. That's weak for anybody, men, women, uh -huh. anybody. Cause let me let me see a damn man sit up there. And you be like, "Hey man, your breath stink and you musty." 
Because let me see my beard thing in a minute. Man, go take a bath so, and brush your yeah, teeth. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I definitely think that, you know, young boys need to, you know, need that that guidance or whatnot in that avenue and so forth. Um, so would you date a crybaby? No. Hmm? No. So in a situation where you and, and, and your dude, y'all, y'all out somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all go to the movies. Mm-hmm. And it's one of them chick flicks where they sitting up there and they they fall in love and they doing this and he just sitting up there. You can't even reach for the tissue and boohoo because he's sitting up there telling oh, yeah. It's just so beautiful. I honestly would crying. feel some kind of way. Yeah, you would be like, yo, bitch. I would feel us. some kind of way. Uh, I, I don't know if I would go that far, but it would definitely would. make me feel uncomfortable. Or whatnot. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I know how you would feel about it. How would I feel about it? You'd be like, God damn, I'm the hardest motherfucker in this relationship. Yeah, you can't even, you can't even say it because you know it's true. You would Maybe be, you'd be a like, little You'd be like, dang, bit. man, hide, hide, hide me here. But you know what? I've been in relationships where I felt that way. So you, I, I've you, been in a couple of relationships where I end up feeling that way, and it always made me feel like, I mean, like I have to be the woman and the man in this relationship. So you've been the man in the relationship. Yeah. So you had the painless. You know what? I'm asking. I'm asking a legit question. And I'm talking figuratively. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've had to. Sp- Serve as the, the 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 woman and the man in the relationship. And because says the man wasn't doing nothing. Oh, shut up! Oh my goodness! But I mean, she asked me to wake up, so I'm trying. Yeah, I think I I, I don't know why I should have left him alone. You know why you can't leave me alone? Why? Because your favorite song is "Just Can't Let Go." When did that become my favorite song? No, no, no. Just can't let go. No, no, no. Gonna start crying, man. Speaking of speaking of that on the song and, and gonna start crying, man. You know, it was songs they used to try to tell guys it was okay to cry. Like what? When you cry. Girl, I feel. See, I thought he was just trying to get him song. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. I wanna, I wanna go outside in the rain. Okay. I'm with you. I, I think I'm gonna cry. I got you. So, okay, so, hmm. okay, well. Hmm, I got another one. Oh, Lord. And I ain't even going to sing the song. But y'all know he was crying the whole time. Ow. Girl, you know I, 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 I. That's all I got to say. So tell us why, Brett. When was a time that you cried? You got to be more specific. Okay. Cause I, I mean, I'm, I'm all man. I'm in touch with my, with my, with my, with my feelings. I'm in touch with my emotions. Uh huh. So, so, I could cry. At, I, I don't cry at church. Okay. I don't cry. When there's something going on with, with my kids, I done cried over relationships. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, if you would have to make a list of categories of acceptable instances for men to cry, what would be the top five? I mean, is it ain't really a, 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 a time to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, there's, but there will be instances where it's like, oh, okay. I can understand that. Death. Okay. One. 
Um, when, when, uh, for me, I cry when I'm proud. Like, like I'm extremely proud of my kids. When my daughter came in and and she was excited because she got accepted to one of the, the colleges that she really wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And she came in all happy and she was jumping and, and then turned around and they sent her a scholarship letter saying that she had some scholarship money and she was she was so excited. I was happy for her. I'm talking about so happy for her to, I ain't even realize it, but a damn tear roll because I'm, I'm jumping with her. You know Tears what I'm of saying? joy. That's what it is. Two. Okay. Um... When you're in pain, you know, you can get shot. You can cry when you get shot. But so many men are told not to cry. When you're in pain? When they in pain. Ah, oh, shit. And the, it's a difference between crying and and being weak. Because you can cry and be like, damn, that shit hurt. Oh, oh, it hurt. And a tear roll. But if you're sitting up there, you sobbing. And you, you want pity. You can cry without without getting pity, without without pity seeking. Okay. That's the difference. That's the difference, cause cause the way I feel is when you cry, you cleanse it, you you release it. Okay, so you that's know three. To death, tears of joy, pain. Hell, I cried at a at you know at a at a funeral wedding. A who? A funeral wedding. A funeral wedding. A funeral wedding. Mm -hmm. What the hell is that? See, I was getting married, but it was really like a funeral because I oh lord I lost a lot of stuff, so I cried. It was a funeral wedding. <laughs> so at a wedding that went south. No, no, it was, uh, for it was a, a marriage. It was a it was a funeral wedding that went south. It was a funeral wedding. So. I should have known from jump that it was not going to be right because before we could even say our vows, I was crying. And everybody thought they was like, "Oh, he's just so happy." But on the inside, I was like, "But you, really you could have—it could have been tears of joy because you were happy on that day." And I was—and I was really like, "Am I really messing up? I like her, but do I love her like this?" Wow. You know, she didn't piss so, me off in the past thirty minutes. Seriously? That's not a good way to how, start. How you? How you go into getting ready for your for your wedding and you get a call from your your bride to be wife to be whatever you want to call it and she is fussing because she forgot something and left it at the house but she stayed at the hotel or whatever with her with her sister or whatever the night before so y'all wouldn't be together. Mm hmm and she is mad because you didn't automatically assume or know to bring something that she forgot. I don't know what to say about that one, White Bread. So, yeah. So, what's number five? Back to that one. So, we I said cried death, at the, tears I of cried joy, at the funeral pain. wedding. The funeral wedding. wedding. Funeral wedding. Say, ah, oh, don't just say it's a funeral wedding. I already have death in there. Mm -mm, this one was a funeral wedding. We got weddings that it's combines. A funeral wedding. That's a, that's a two header. Look, I can't even put my fingers here like that. You throwing up but gang look. signs over there? <laughs> Y'all, hey, I so, swear, I swear, Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords, so that's her, not more. me. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Give me one more. All right. What's an acceptable? Okay. Pride. Proud. What is it? Proudness. Pride. Pride. I mean, I, no, I didn't say pride. I said death. Mm -hmm. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Pain. Pain. Wedding. Funeral wedding. And uh, what's the what's the fifth one? When is it okay or acceptable to cry? Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna think it's funny, but out of anger. Why would they think that's funny? Because a lot of a folks lot, start crying when I, they get mad. When I'm when I'm mad. It shows you that I'm mad because a lot of times you won't even know I'm pissed off at you because my facial expression won't change. You go stoic. I'm I'm a professional pisser offer. 
Okay. I can be pissed at you. So, okay. So y'all, y'all know I work in the doctor's office. So, so doc, you can watch. Don't look at my face when you know you did something that's gonna make me mad. Cause you, you'll see it. Cause I just hate you that little stone face like. <laughs> so, all right. Just like that. Yeah, just, just, just like that. So, with that being said, those are acceptable reasons to cry. But what if you have an instance where there's... What if a man doesn't cry any of those for any of those reasons? He refuses to cry for any of those reasons. He needs therapy. Or... He just doesn't feel the desire to cry for any of those reasons. He's gonna need therapy. Because I was like that. I wouldn't cry for shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It took me it it took me going through the military, going coming back after after Iraq, having to actually go through therapy because of PTSD to actually get in touch with my feelings and to let stuff go mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't cry i didn't want to cry i felt like it would make me seem weaker mm -hmm. than what i was feeling on the inside and what i found out was it was making me weak because i was holding all that shit in it was mm -hmm. breaking me down mm -hmm. i'm talking about this shit broke me down to the point where i was actually y'all y'all this shit this shit from here for, for real, for real. Honest, honest truth. I was actually ready to commit suicide. Mm. Like for real, real talk. This shit was real because I was holding so much in. I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have an avenue to let it out. Mm -hmm. Now it's to the point where I'm like, shit. If it happens, if I'm mad, oh, you gonna know because I'm a blow on. If you want to do it, we can take it to that other level. Mm -hmm. I was I was so under the impression like like most men, I was so under the impression of of I gotta be so strong for everybody else that I gotta hold this in. You can't see me weak. You can't see me go down. Mm -hmm. Cause I gotta fight for everybody else. That's why I was with it. So do y'all men talk about stuff like this? Hell no. You need therapy. You need to find somebody that you can trust and, and have therapy. It took it took a lot of good drugs. And a lot of therapy for me to be able to talk about this shit now. Mm. Cause shit, last year this time, I, I wasn't able to, well, two years ago this time, it's, it's been about a good two years since I've been able to, to talk about me and, and how stuff was making me feel without, without me wanting to tear up and, and think about the suicide and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it took me going to therapy. Like I was going like every every Tuesday that was my days every Tuesday and the therapist that I had she would sit up there the office would be closed I get now Tuesday's evening by 6 37 o'clock sit on the floor and and she had a little uh stuffed animal that was a that was a turd the, the shit stuffed animal mm -hmm. and it seemed like every time we would get in there that would be my go-to because I wouldn't even know it but she pointed it out close to close to you know the end of our therapy that dude do you notice that every time you either sit right here on the floor in front of this chair or you sit in this particular chair and you grab that same little stuffed animal every time and she said that's your comfort I ain't even think about it it was one day we were having therapy I came in there and she had she moved the damn little, the little shit doll. Mm -hmm. And I ain't want to talk to her till I found that shit doll. Not knowing. It, it the shit was real. Mm. I need to get you a shit doll by bread. Nah, I got a shit doll. I got one for real. You don't believe me? No, I believe you. You don't believe me? I just said I don't believe you. I said huh? I believe you. I mean, I'm for real. Okay, I believe you. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that you you you've kind of you made it over that over that hump. 
No, like I mean, for real, I have. And a lot of men, they hadn't, they hadn't got to that point. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I hate that I put this little damper on everything, but this shit got real, man. Everybody need to need to understand, fellas. Y'all need to go to therapy, man. Cry if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not saying you weak because you go to therapy. I'm not saying you weak because you cry. You know, it is what it is. You got to do it. This shit is for real, for real. But what if they can't afford therapy? It's so much. It's so much uh, uh, therapy. I hear so many opportunities, so many uh, resources. You know, you can go and talk to anybody. If it's somebody you trust, a friend that you can confide in. But you just said that men don't talk to friends, to their other male friends. They ain't got to be a man. Pillow talk is a motherfucker. If you can find somebody you can trust, hey, are you sleeping with them? If you if you can, can't if you can't can't talk to the person that you sticking your dick in. What, what, what the hell you sticking your dick in them for? A lot of times that's not what well, they with them out. for. Time, time out. Time, <laughs> not, out, time that out. That wasn't the whole time purpose. Time Because you know sometimes sticking your dick in them, they're fun. I'm just saying you got to you stick it in there. That's what you call sticking run, hit and run. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. So, okay. That's what I'm saying. All you got to so do is So, the bottom hit and line run, is. Hit and run, hit and run. Hit and hit and hit and hit and hit. So, the bottom line is men should cry. Yeah, it's healthy. I agree. A good it's cry healthy. is healthy. Sometimes you need it a good is cry. It is healthy. It is healthy. It is. All right, then. So y'all, man, I'm not gonna sit here and let's bring this thing back up. Let's bring it back up. Let's let's revamp. You know, let's talk a little bit about what we see. I was sleeping when the show started, but Shay woke me up. She stepped on my pinky toe, and I I kicked her in her shin. And y'all missed that whole big old fight that we had. And after we got through fighting. Then we start talking. Why, bro? What are you talking about? I don't know. Hey, so, say. Yes. I don't want to talk to you no more. I need my shit, dog. Well, you go do that. Go y'all, we're just about to wrap up, y'all. But I want to go ahead and let you guys know, in case you missed him last month, we are going to bring back Tarot Phil this month on the 15th. So if you reach out to the Sigin Yak Show, you might get a chance to have your cards read. So you want to make sure to reach on out to us. Let us know if you are willing to volunteer to get your cards read. Because last month I did, White Bread did too. And actually, White Bread kind of got read himself because he got a little smart with Tarot Phil. And that was hilarious. So you guys make sure that y'all tune in on the 15th to go ahead and maybe you can get your cards read with tarot feel now what in the world is going on mm-hmm. here oh this is my shit dog do you guys have shit dolls too I mean, figuratively speaking, it might not be an actual shit doll. It might be something else. Because I'm the shit now. So, real talk. If you fellas are going through some things, don't ball it in. you got to let it out in one way or shape, form, or other. It could be in a creative outlet. You might be into photography. You might be an artist. It might be your music. It might be writing. Or you're or dancing or whatnot, but other ways it could just be you just need to talk to somebody. Men don't twerk. Men break dance and do other dances. It doesn't have but to be twerking. Been, but they've been a twerk. I didn't say anything about twerking. See, how I be trying to take a serious moment, and then you gotta go in there and interject. Y'all see this, y'all? See, see, take take your shit, doll. There is take your shit, doll. We will see y'all next week. Same time, same place, right here on the Sig and Yak Show. And we are out.